Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. This is my tech corner of the internet. So uh, one more video about Homebox Open Source Inventory Manager. Great inventory management tool for home users. Runnable wherever you can host Docker containers. I want to do a quick video today showing you guys the functionality that you can use to store documents into uh, your assets. And I'm going to use the example today of a dummy PDF file I'm creating here. This would be useful. You can. There's obviously uh, fields in Homebox for uh, for adding recording serial numbers, warranty detail, details, all that kind of good stuff, as well as adding photos like I showed in my last video. But today, let's say you have a user manual and it's probably going to be a PDF. How would you add that? So just for the purpose of this demonstration, I've created a junk user manual, as you can see. Uh, I just test user manual, turn on a computer, but I did this uh, I put this image here because I wanted to show that you can preview it as well. So what I'm going to do now is export this thing to a PDF. I'm going to overwrite my previous document here for the test user manual. And I'll just save that to my desktop. Now let's go and put this into a demonstration asset in Homebox. Okay, so I've created a test asset here for the purpose of demonstration. Now something about the UI at the date I'm recording this is that uh, firstly you need to click on edit and you need to have the advanced options toggled on to get the attachments, right? So by if I don't have this toggled on, I can't see either my existing attachments or I can't uh, add new attachments. So firstly, turn on the advanced view, scroll down. And now we have, uh, I just added a test, a TXT file for demo. It looks like you can add pretty much anything, in fact, um, uh, in terms of the file extension. But let's now go and put the test user manual here. I'm going to click select. And very, very quick, test user manual has been uploaded. And you just need to make sure to save that. Okay, so let's go now into the into the view. So let's say we're looking at it. Details, test, asset. We now have our two... Uh, are two attachments. And what I really like about this is that you have these little buttons for firstly downloading them uh, and opening them. So if we, and you can have multiple uh, multiple things here, like the kind of, uh, the photos would be displaying above them. But for test user manual and for images, you can click on open and you'll actually be able to look at the PDF directly hosted on the environment you're hosting, uh, you're hosting uh, uh, the uh, home box in. So in this case, it's open directly my web browser. And if this was a real user manual or warranty, I'd be able to read it directly. So that's how you can add uh, documents and attachments to Homebox. Uh, if you want to know how to add photos, it's basically the exact same process, but you can look at my previous video. It does give you the option of assigning them into categories. And this is a, you know, maybe a small functionality, but actually is very, very powerful in the sense that if you want, if you're looking for, looking to use this as a way to keep everything together, all the warranties, all the spec sheets, all the serial, all the user manuals, all the quick start guides, especially if you're a small business, um, brilliant. You have all the functionality you need to do that just right here. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Until the next video.